Hello everyone, my name is Joseph and welcome back to the Popsicle Night channel. This video is sponsored by PTCGOStore.com, the best place for you to get Pokemon TCG code cards. Please remember to use my code NIGHT22 at checkout so that you can get a 5% discount. Thank you guys so much for your support and for your supporting PTCGOStore.com. In today's video, we'll be showcasing Mousehold from the Scarlet and Violet expansion set. You basically have two options for its basic stage tandem mouse, but I opted for this one with 40 HP but I think I like the artwork on this one better. Mousehold though is a stage 1 Pokemon with 70 HP, making it possible for you to search it with the help of Level Ball. What makes this card awesome though is its attack called Family Attack. For 2 colorless energy, this attack deals 70 damage for each Mousehold in play. So with a maximum of 4 copies of Mouseholds in the deck, and if you can set up all 4 of them, this attack maxes out at 280 damage, which can mean a one-hit knockout against most V-Star and most EX Pokemon in the game. The easiest way to energize this attack is with double turbo energy, however it will decrease your attack by 20 damage. But there are attack modifiers that can help us such as the Choice Belt, which can increase your attack by 30 damage when going against a Pokemon V. And we also have Defiance Band, which can increase your attack by 30 damage when you have more prizes remaining than your opponent. The most difficult concept to Mouseholds mechanic though is of course setting up all 4 of your Mouseholds in play to get the maximum damage, and your opponent will have no problem knocking one out because of its low HP. One way to maintain your 4 count of Mouseholds in play though is with the help of Zoroark with a Phantom Transformation ability. This ability allows you to put this Zoroark line in the discard pile and switch it with one of your stage 1 Pokemon in the discard pile and put that in play instead. So even if one of your Mousehold is knocked out, you can just transform Zoroark into that mouse hold that was just discarded. And because of its low HP, you can actually recover the mouse hold line easily with Rescue Carrier, so you can just continue to set up mouse hold every turn. And I did add one copy of Thorn in this build, which lets you switch one of your basic Pokemon in play with one of your basic Pokemon in the discard pile. You're probably wondering what this is for since we're focusing mostly on stage 1 Pokemon in this build. And the reason is because your board state can get really crowded, especially you need room for both your support Pokemon and your mouse holds. So the trick with this is that you can switch one of your basic Pokemon like Squovit, Manaphy, or Greninja with a Tandem Mouse or Zerua. So you can evolve it into Mouse Hold or Zoroark. This way you will have the option to maintain a maximum count of mouse holds in play. As for my support Pokemon, first I have Raiding Greninja with the Concealed Cards ability. If you can discard an energy from your hand, you can draw two cards. This is also great for setting up your right hand, just get one of the water energies in the discard pile. And you can also use this Moonlight Shuriken attack which can hit for 90 damage to two targets. And I have Bibarel as my main draw engine with its Industrious Incisors ability, and Squovit can be useful when paired with Bibarel if you need to dig through your deck. As far as stadiums go, I have a copy of Mesa Goza. With a successful coin flip, you can search your deck for a Pokemon and put it into your hand. I also have a copy of Path to the Peak which shuts down all abilities of Pokemon with a rule box on them. This can actually slow down a lot of builds since a lot of the new EX Pokemon rely on abilities. And finally, I also included copies of Gift Energies. If the Pokemon with this attached is knocked out, you can draw cards until you have 7 cards in your hand. Overall, this Mousehold build definitely has potential for huge damage output. The only real challenge is setting up all 4 Mouseholds and maintaining the maximum count at all times. Just hope that you don't have more than 1 Mousehold priced at any given time. Anyways, that's pretty much it. You can find the complete decklist in the description below. Now please enjoy the gameplay videos showcasing Mousehold. Alright, so my opponent wins the coin flip and they are going first and I actually do prefer going second with this build and my strategy really is that's why I have four Iridus in this deck and I'm hoping that I start with one and <laughs> RNG just really hates me I I'm going to start with the tandem mouse I do have two level balls though so we're gonna make do with that but yeah that's that's what I want is ideally what you want to start with is with Irida, and then uh, get battle, battle VIP pass to set up your basic Pokemon immediately uh, at the start of the game. And uh, that's one of the challenges with this Mousehold line as well, is setting up your stage once. And what ideally, what you want to do is set up your basic Pokemon as much of the Tandem Mouse line as you can, and uh, ideally too, uh, what you want to do is uh, set up only two support Pokemon as much as possible. Otherwise, your whole board will be become really crowded and your likelihood of setting up your mouse hold lines will be really horrible. So, we did not start with an Irida. We didn't get any Battle VIP Pass, but we did get a few level balls. 
So uh, we'll make do. We'll make do. I'll just put Bidoof in the in the bench for now. Uh, but we are going up against a psychic type build, and I think uh, this could be the the item lock, which could be a horrible thing. But for now, I'll just put the gift energy on Tandem Mouse. That could help us draw extra cards if they end up knocking out our Tandem Mouse. And I'm just going to use Level Ball here. Um, get another Tandem Mouse in play. Uh, but drawing extra card will be our challenge moving forward. And one of the, th the things that I really don't like is... Um, Dead drawing. <laughs> if you start dead drawing with this build, oh man, it's gonna be horrible. I wonder if I should get Squovit or Pukumuku. I'll just get Pukumuku. We'll get one extra card and then hope for the best. Battle VIP Pest! Yo! Pukumuku! Coming in clutch, man. Let's go. Um, one tandem mouse is prized, I suppose. So I'll just get that and let's see what we have in our hand. Double Turbo Energies. Uh, I think I'm going for Zerua. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go for that. And I'm just going to end my turn. Yeah, just going to end my turn for now. All right, well, the battle VIP pass draw was pretty good, but now moving forward will be a little bit difficult because uh, drawing into the card we need here to get our B-Barrel is uh, pretty essential. We got Rosan's backup. We don't really need recovery. What we need is um, setup. You know, that's, that's one of the downside really is being able to draw into the cards you need. When you need to set up, you don't get it. But when you need recovery, you don't get it either, you know? Let's see. I'm just going to put the double turbo energy on this tandem mouse and then move on. I could boss their curly, but it, it, it's really not gonna make any big difference. So I'm just going to end my turn here. Yeah, really, really bad hand we have. But once we get our B-Barrel, we should be uh, good to go. At least we got the Battle VIP Pass. We have a few Ultra Balls in the deck. So if we can get our hands on that, that would be awesome. Draw extra cards with a B-Barrel. And then we'll be well on our way. But I think... Uh, this should be a winnable matchup. Uh, my opponent is also having a hard time setting up here. Um, yeah, we're just, <laughs> we're just not getting the cards we need here. Um, let me put this water energy in the in the active because that will help set up for a right hand in case we draw into one. And if they knock out our active, we can also draw extra cards uh, moving forward. So I'll just uh, hit for double hit. We flip two coins and 30 times the number of heads. Maybe we can deal a significant amount of damage against this Klefki. All right, we got one heads. That's 30 damage. Not too bad. So it's uh, within range, sort of. But yeah, another gripe I have with this build. Uh, I don't know if it's just Pokemon TCG Live and the re-roll whatever but you know i have one of a lot of these cards and the those these supporter cards are usually what i get you know i have four iridas but i never get them <laughs> it's it's just really bad okay we got another pukumuku all right pukumuku you always are always making my day so come on draw me into a card that i need please Level ball is pretty good. Okay. I will take that. Level ball is pretty good. Um, can deal 70 damage. Level ball is good. But not quite enough to knock out any of their Pokemon either. 
Uh, yeah, let's just let's just do that. Um, get a mouse hold. I could knock out their Klefki. At least that will get us one extra prize. That's one extra draw, sort of. And then we're gonna go from there. All right. So family attack for a knockout against their Klefki. We get one prize for that. Rescue carrier is good. Okay, but uh, they're going to use Everlasting Darkness and we can't play any item cards. They can also use Poltergeist, which deals 60 times the number of trainer cards. Yes, trainer cards. So they will definitely get a knockout if they use the second attack. We could continue to attack with a mouse hold line. But rescue carrier. I don't know. It really depends if we can use rescue carrier, right? They have two energies in the discard pile. They can use Guard of War EX to de um, accelerate those energies. We got a right hand, dude. That is pretty good. So. All right, I think we, we should be fine. All right. We should be fine. Another pu Pukumuku is so awesome, man. It, it's just a... It's just a simple card, but <laughs> it does so much. Okay, uh, let's use Rescue Carrier. I think we can actually make this work. Again, my, my goal today is just at least win one game <laughs> in this model line and hope to um, showcase as much of it as I can. Uh, let's evolve into a mouse hold. Um, put this water energy here. Pal pad, boss's order is good. I'm going to use right hand to accelerate one water energy on this tandem mouse. And then I'm going to get a bit barrel because um, drawing extra cards is a little bit of the, the worst part of this build. I'm just going to put choice belt. I don't think it's going to help any because they're using mostly EX right now. I might regret this, but I'm just going to put it in the active. I'm just thinning out my hand as much as I can. Uh, recover these two. And then... Use Pukumuku to draw one extra card. Gift energy is good. Uh, and then draw two extra cards with Industrious Incisors. Okay, we got a Zoro Arc. We got a Zoro Arc. But we don't have any mouse hold. So... Okay. Okay. Um, 50 damage. Yeah, family attack for 50 damage. I mean, 50 damage is 50 damage, right? All right. Let's see what we could do here. So in our next turn, we can actually use Zoroark to transform into a mouse hold. So at least we'll have three mouse holds and with a tandem mouse with two water energies, we can actually deal a uh, normal damage. In other words, the double turbo energy actually lowers our attack. So having one with just regular energies could help us out to deal the maximum amount of damage. So we can grab a Mouse hold using right hand, and then hopefully we can draw extra cards uh, into another mouse hold line with the barrel. But uh, yeah, they're they're setting up pretty well here with uh, their guard of wars. They're gonna take another knockout. We could take out this bayonet actually. There is a chance that we could take it out. So I'm just going to put tandem mouse in the active spot. We got an irida, which is really nice. Um, got an Irida. 
Let me actually retreat so that I can put one energy. I think I'm going to go for a right hand this turn for the meantime. I'm going to go for a right hand. Uh, no, what did I do? I was supposed to transform first. Oh my gosh. Can you, uh, can I take back? Can I take it back? Oh my goodness. Um. Man, okay, I messed up. I messed up. Uh, I messed up. Let me get another mouse hold. Okay, that was, uh, that was, uh. That was not what I was trying to do. Uh, Phantom transformation into mouse hold. Use gift energy. I could slap this guy, but now it it just messes up the whole thing. Okay, we got path to the peak. Can use that, and I'm just gonna slap this guy then. All right, I made a mistake. Oh man, that that could be the turning point of the game. We would have been able to deal a huge amount of damage against Bayonet EX, but that didn't happen because I wasn't thinking right. Yeah, sequencing is an important aspect of this game. So you have to make sure that you're doing the right sequence before you do anything. And yeah, that's that's one mistake. Um, that's a mistake that could cost us the game because they already had one prize. They'll be ahead two prizes after this one. Okay, but at least we'll be able to draw three extra cards here thanks to the gift energy. But our hands are being locked right now because we're not getting uh, useful cards in effect. But let's see if we can even out our prizes by... Uh, doing something here. Let's use Hisuian Heavy Ball. Tandemos is right there. Radiant Greninja could prove to be helpful. Yeah. Radiant Greninja could be helpful. But let me get Tandemos for now. I just want to increase my damage output. And uh, another thing that you have to really watch out for is keeping your mouse hold line constantly in play so right now we have two so that's why i chose the tandem mouse instead of the greninja i think that's very important that we keep these three line at least and then try to recover the other ones as much as possible and i think this is where irida comes in uh, i could get pukumuku and a rescue carrier here that way i can at least set up my line of mouse holds we need to hit for 160 damage. Use Pukumuku to draw one extra card. Let's see what we get. A boss's orders. But well, we cannot use it right now. So what I need to do is... I'll just get these two for now. So mouse hold is good to help us evolve one. That will increase our damage. We have a Zerua and a Zorark in our hand. So we can evolve that in our next turn. And be able to attack for a lot of damage. So right now, unfortunately, we're only hitting for 140 damage. Not quite enough to knock out this Bayonet EX. So I'll just hit it for 140 damage. That's fine. Um, yeah, 3 is actually the... The one that you want to reach for. At least three mouse hold lines at all times is the best way to go about it. Because a lot of the Pokemon EXs and V Stars and V Maxes, uh, you can pretty much two hit knockout most of them. Uh, one hit knockouts is possible, but really hard to pull off. Especially uh, they're using uh, these Gardevoir with 310 HP is pretty bonkers. <laughs> They do uh, receive damage though when they use the ability to put those energies in the discard pile. But I think they're way too ahead in prizes here. I don't know if we can still get back on track, but we'll find out. Because we are only taking two prizes at a time and they only need to knock out two more Pokemon from us. And we're just way too behind. 
So, um, let me just put this guy in the active. We don't need that much damage output for Bayonet EX. I can use Zoro Arc to transform. I can also put this energy here. And then... Let's see, I can use Irida again. Uh, Pukumuku again and rescue carrier. That's our last rescue carrier. We're gonna be relying on Roseanne's backup to recover our Pokemon here on out. And then we got a mouse hold. That's good. So we can hit for three, and then we can set up another three. Right. Uh, we don't need to evolve into a mouse hold right now, so we should be okay. Uh, hit for 120 damage, knock out this Bayonet EX. Yeah, we, we messed up at that on that one move. I think that would have made a big difference, to be honest with you. But to get three prizes, and the prizes we got are not as helpful either. So, man, okay, well. Alright, again, my goal here is to win at least one game, guys. <laughs> but, at least... You're seeing the, the downside to this deck. Uh, there's just a lot of things that you have to consider to make it work. Um, just being able to continually have a mouse hole line uh, is, is a challenge. Uh, we did use up... I wonder if we can use Path to the Peak to kind of shut them down a little bit. If we can knock out this Gardevoir... We might be able to shut them shut them down with the path to the peak. But let's see what we could do. Uh, let's put Mousehold in the active. They only need one more prize, so uh, our hope of winning here is looking pretty bleak. But we're gonna do our best. He's swing heavy ball, get our radiant Greninja, and then I'm just going to evolve this. Or transform to another mouse hold. At least we have three. We can knock out this guard of war. Uh, use Roseanne's backup. And what I'm going to do is recover this guy. We don't have any more recoveries, right? Uh, choice belt is not going to help. And then I'm just going to get another double turbo energy. I think I'm going to go with those three for now. And the chances of me getting. That path to the peak is pretty low, but we're gonna try. Come on, path to the peak. Okay, Ultra Ball. We could discard bosses or I'm gonna discard Mesagoza and the switch. Okay. And then I could get a Squovit. What do we got here? We can get a squall bit. Because I could just use Thornton to to um turn Squovit into a tandem mouse. And then I can just evolve it into a mouse hold. Double triple energy. Put this to this guy. And then draw five. If we can get that path to the peak. Dude, we, <laughs> we got it. Let's go. Okay. Path to the peak. Hopefully that will shut down their guard of war, but they have so many cards in their hand that they probably have a counter to it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they do. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they do. And I'm gonna use Palpad to recover Roseanne's backup and right hand. I'm pretty sure they have a counter. Get a knockout against this Gardevoir. 210 damage is pretty decent. Get one prize for that. Another Irida, okay. But, yeah. All they need to do is get this Path to the Peak out of there. Um, put energies on their Gardevoir EX, and that will win them the game. But, if for some reason they don't have any counters to the Path to the Peak... Uh, we could have a chance. We could actually hit for 310 damage, but we will need 
Um, we need to get the belt or the other uh, the other thing to increase our attack damage output. Otherwise, yeah. I'm pretty sure they have it. They're just stalling. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they have a counter to pass to the peak. They're probably just stalling here, but we'll see. The moment of truth, guys. There's a switch. Okay, clef key. There's the switch. Oh man. Level ball. Shup it. Dude, that path to the peak. If the if that sticks, man. If that sticks. I will be ecstatic <laughs> if we end up winning this game. We need two more prizes though. They're gonna use boss order to stall. Okay, they're gonna put the barrel in the active. Okay. Mana fee. Mana fee. Okay. Um I forget. Is the uh is the band to increase our attack in the prizes? I forgot, man. Um. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna put the double turbo energy so that we can retreat. And I'm just gonna use Squovit. Can I use Squovit to use Nestash? What is the status effect? Oh, because of Klefki, I cannot use its ability. Well. Well then, let me use Ultra Ball to get rid of these two. And then get a... Can I evolve into a mouse hold? I cannot. I cannot evolve into a mouse hold. So, going for a Pukumuku, that one extra card could make all the difference, right? And then I don't have any more recovery items in the deck. I already used up all three of my rescue carriers. But I could try and see if I still have anything. Uh, let's look at all the cards here. Uh, I, I do have the Defiance Band. So I can actually knock out their Guard of War. I can actually knock out their Guard of War. Could use this Cape Rope. Push out their Clef Key. Okay. Let me use this. Let me use escape rope. Shop it. Okay. Um, I'll put mouse hold in the active. Now we can use Quovit. I can draw one extra card with Pukumuku. Another Irida. Okay. I don't need Irida. Let me use... Skovit, Nestash, put that to the bottom of the deck. Right hand is good. And then the barrel for industrious incisors. Dude, there's the defined span, but oh man. But <sighs> but what? Hmm. I'm gonna save the Defiance Band, okay? Uh, use Family Attack to just knock out their Shuppet for now. And again, hopefully my path to the, picks, the path to the peak sticks and we could ultimately win this game. Either we get a boss order to get rid of this Klefki. Or get a knockout against their Guard of War EX. Uh, so what we need, we have a Tandem Mouse. If we can get if we can get Thornton, we can actually pull this off. Oh no, we cannot. We can no longer pull this off because we have uh, the same prizes. So Defiance Band will actually not increase our attack at all. So we're only hitting for 280 damage. So do they have anything to get this path to the peak out of there? 
Ooh, they're gonna draw three cards. So they're gonna recover a Pokemon, draw three cards. They can get the Path to the Peak out of there and they can win this game. Because uh, now with their ability available without Path of the Peak, they can just get those energies onto their Gardevoir EX and deal a knockout blow for the win. Dude, they pass. <laughs> Our path to the peak stuck. Dude. Uh, all right. Can we get a boss's order? That's the question. Can we get a boss's order? Get that clef key for the win. That's the question. Let me just put this here. Uh, put a defiance band here. Um, yeah. All we need is a boss order. Wait. It's not pri. It's not... We didn't use... Okay, 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 okay. All right. So, Squovit, come on. Let's go. <laughs> Boss's order, please. I need to win a game with this. At least one. Come on. <laughs> we won at least one game. <laughs> this is insane. All right, cool. Wait. 310 damage, uh, 290, yeah, yeah, yeah. We will have to use boss's order here to win. Uh, we could have pulled it off, but you know what? 310 damage is quite a lot of damage to go uh, after, so we're just gonna win this game using family attack, dealing 210 damage against this Klefki. Bro, that was, <laughs> all right, pretty clutch, but we got the win. I am pretty happy with that. All right, nice, we won a game, nice. <laughs> I'll take it. Let's see if we can win another one. Uh, let's go for another uh, another run and see how well we do. All right, so my opponent wins the coin flip and they are going first. So that's a good... Again, I prefer going second with this build, really. In hopes that we'll start with an Irida so we can get Battle VIP pass. But right now, we got a Tandem Mouse and a Bidoof on the bench. So that's a start. Uh, we do have a level ball in our hand, but... Uh, the four cards we have in our hand is not ideal because, uh, again, what you really want to do with this mouse hold deck is to build up or set up your basic Pokemon because uh, stage ones are pretty hard to uh, set up here. Rescue carry again. Another challenge with this build is the RNG. Uh, I don't know if I have the the worst combination of cards, but it just it's not working out sometimes. Uh, recovery come, uh, re recovery cards come out at the very beginning. And you don't really need recovery cards in the beginning. Let's see what we could set up here. Um, could set up another... Let me get a mouse hold. Do I have any energy? I don't even have energies, bro. Come on. Uh, let me get a Pukamuku. Maybe one extra card draw and with the deck shuffled, maybe we'll get something here. Basic energy, okay. I'll take it. Put that there and I'm just going to end my turn. Basic energy, okay. Yeah, like I said, RNG, really bad. Um, when I need recovery items at the end of the game, I don't get it. Even though I only have a few cards left. And as far as setups in the very beginning of the game, I have four Iridus in this deck, but still, um, I still don't get it at the very beginning of the game. So it makes me kind of uh, irritated sometimes. I hate to use that word, but yeah. RNG is a little bit, I don't like the RNG with this, uh, this particular bit. I don't know if it's PTCG Live, but that always seems to be the case each time I play this uh, mouse hold deck. But we are going up against Amy Rhydon EX build. Um, this is a pretty tough matchup for sure. Uh, I could deal a bunch of damage to their uh, two prizers, uh, but what's gonna be a challenge is this Reggie Alaki actually. The lightning wall attack is pretty nasty. Uh, they'll attack for 100 damage, which easily knocks out our mouse hold, and it also increases its defense by 100, making it hard for us to knock it out. So boss orders could be a useful uh, card against this matchup. Got another tandemize, which is really nice. But as far as it goes, uh, 
it's not this is not good um, this one has one retreat cost I could stall a little bit I guess let me see if I can stall they're flaffy I mean I wish I could just knock out this flaffy but let me just stall uh, by putting this Maridon in the active spot and I'm just going to end my turn so we're drawing really poorly here, and that's what I've been noticing again with the RNG. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> Just really bad. Um, I have experimented with a lot of combinations with this deck, and I don't know a lot. It just doesn't work out a lot, a lot of the times. Uh, Rescue Carrier is pretty essential, I think, for the recovery of the Mosshold line. Look at this. What is this? Uh, I'm just gonna keep passing. So at least you guys are witnessing in person how bad this mouse hold build is. Again, I don't know if it's the RNG or um, PTCG Live, but okay. they are, they're just gonna keep setting up then. Look at this, come on. Give me something. I feel like quitting Artie. I feel like quitting Artie. Uh, let me put this choice belt here. Not gonna make a big difference, but uh, let me use Palpad. Pad. Maybe that'll shuffle my card, drawing to something better. Uh, use Double Hit. Maybe we'll get a little bit of chip damage against this Maridon. Wow. Okay. Cool. 60 damage. That's pretty significant. So that puts it within knockout range, 160. But we do need to set up our Mouse Hold. Um, a few Mouse Holds would be good to deal that 160 damage. But all they need is one energy to get their Maridon EX out of the active spot. They can start attacking with their Raikou. We got an Ultra Ball, finally. Um, Defiance Band could be useful. I think I'll just get rid of these two. No, no, no. I'll get rid of these two. Defiance Band can come later. Uh, I could recover that with Roseanne's Backup. But for now, I'm just going to get a barrel. Uh, that way we're not dead drawing here. And hopefully we can get a full setup uh, moving forward. Okay, we got uh, an Irida. I can put a Gift Energy here. Use Irida to get... Radiant Greninja looks actually, actually looks pretty good. Pichu uh, Pukumuku could help us draw one extra card this turn. Um, and then what I could do is just get a level ball. Let's see. Um, yeah, let's just go for the Pukumuku for now. Let's go for the Pukumuku. Draw one extra card. Ultra Ball, okay. Let's use Level Ball to get... Mouse Hold. Alright, let's play this right. Uh, mouse Hold is good, okay. You know what, let me just set up my basics as much as I can here. I'm... I don't like this. Use Ultra Ball, get rid of Boss Orders and Zoroark. Get another tandem mouse, and then yeah. Okay, at least we have a lineup. Use double hits. Okay, we got one heads. All right, so that's one one hit closer to knocking it out. So we'll have this target at least 130 damage. That's going to be an easy knockout. And my opponent is not attacking yet. So if they don't have any energy or anything to switch out their Maridon. Dude, they don't have anything. Okay, we're going to use that to our advantage then. <laughs> All right. Because we're, we're also having a bad draw here. So we're going to take advantage of that. Uh, mouse hold. Pal pad. I can use that to get boss order in Irida. Hmm. 
But then this will be my last pal pad. I can put Bidoof in play. Maybe I can have two B-Barrels and then use pal pad to recover these two. And then hit for 70. Okay. I don't know. Maybe my opponent doesn't have anything to get Miraidon EX out of the active either. So let's see. We're, we're slowly chipping away at it. 60 damage. One more hit. We can knock it out. And then that'll be our first two prizes. So what, what my game plan here is moving forward is really to set up a Radiant Greninja. Dude, what is going on with my opponent? I'm telling you, man. I think it's PTCG Live. The the I think like the way it's programmed to do the the shuffling is is out of whack. So uh, okay, cool. We got another barrel that can prove to be very helpful. Use Path to the Peak that will prevent them from using their abilities. Use Pukumuku to draw one extra card. Mesagoza is good. Draw two extra card with our other Bibarel. Sweet. An Irida. Irida is good. We got a Pukumuku again. Uh, yeah. Let's get Pukumuku again. Level Ball. And then we can get Mousehold. Evolve this so now we have two mouse holds we can deal a knockout get two prizes then nice okay uh i i'm okay with that for now so unfortunately for my opponent they're not getting the cards they need raiko v has 200 hp we could possibly knock it out we have this tandem mouse with the choice belt the tandem mouse with the choice belt so with right hand we can energize it get another mouse hold uh with at least three mouse holds in play we should be able to deal 210 damage to knock out a raiko or 240 actually okay so they deal a knockout blow against our first mouse hold and then we can put this in the active Squovit is good. Um, use Raihan to put an energy here. And then, what do we need here? What do we need? Um, I can just get a an Ultra Ball because I want to thin out my hand as well. That way I can get, I can just get a mouse hold to evolve the active while decreasing the number of cards I have in my hand. That way I can use Bibarel. We got a Zoroark, which is pretty good. Squovit, I don't want to use Squovit because it's going to fill out my, my board state here. And like I said, what you really want to do is just keep your uh, support of Pokemon to a minimum of just two, because you need four. You need four. You need four mouse holds in play, uh, because four is good. When one is knocked out, you'll have that three. So I'm just gonna get rid of those two. Get another mouse hold. We can get a knockout against this Raiko V, and then um, I can't really use. Um, I can't use Thornton and then Raihan at the same time, so it's going to be very difficult to to kind of do that. But let me use Gift Energy on this Tandem Mouse. Um, but then I feel like I need to use Squovit now. That way I can get the three mouse hold line and be able to knock out their Raikou V. This can mean a huge... This could be a big deal. So I think I will play Squovit. 
I don't want to, but I think I have to. Draw four extra cards with Big Barrel. Nice, uh, we got a level ball. So we are gonna get our mouse hold, our third mouse hold, and that should allow us to knock out their Raikou V. Um, actually, even without, oh yeah, yeah, we still needed that third mouse hold, right? Uh, draw an extra card with this Industrious Incisors, might as well. And we're just gonna deal a knockout blow against this Raikou V. Nice, all right. Very good. Two prizes right there. We are well on our way, guys. Not too bad. We got a basic energy. Uh, he's doing heavy ball. All right. And they're going to present their other Raikou V in the active. So, um, there are a few things I wanted to just point out here. Um, I did try out this deck with the Curly Align. I think the Curly S are pretty good too, especially I use Battle VIP Pass. It's one way to really get rid of them, but uh, Battle VIP Pass is hit and miss. Again, that's why I put Iridas here, and I, I want to go second so I can find those with an Irida. But with the RNG, with Pokemon TCG Live, I don't know if it's PTCGL or just my deck, but Ideally, you want those Battle VIP Pass to set up your basic Pokemon at the offset of the game. But um, with that said, Battle VIP Pass can also be like a clog to your hand, cards in your hands. Dude, they, <laughs> they don't knock out our, our mouse hold. I think that's going to be game, guys. That's going to be game. Yeah, that's game. 240 damage for the win. Sweet, okay, that was uh, pretty easy. I think it was just uh, my opponent's setup. Yeah, let's just move on to the next game and see how I can explain the concept to this build. All right, so my opponent wins the coin flip. Oh no, we're gonna start with a Squovid in the active spot. Uh, I guess that's fine. Uh, so we're gonna go with the Bibero line. Ooh, Quaquaval and Palkia. So this is a tough matchup for sure. Uh, we're, again, we are the underdog. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed already, but the way I build my deck, I just want a Pokemon to shine when I'm showcasing it. So I don't, I try as much as possible. I try not to mix it with any other Pokemon that will kind of shoulder a lot of the responsibility, if that makes sense. So since this is a mouse hold build, mouse hold will have to kind of hold on uh, or um, stand on its own two feet, so to speak. All right, uh, let's use Mesagoza first. Mesagoza, this is hit and miss, really. Let's see if we can get heads. Nope. Yeah, I, I feel like I just need to get rid of that Mesagoza. It's, it's a little bit useless in my opinion. We get uh, Radiant Greninja. Um, yeah, that could, that could be useful, I guess. Battle VIP Pass. Yeah, Radiant Greninja should be fine. We can use this ability to draw two extra cards. Let me just do that first. Nice. Level balls. Dude, that is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my draw engine. Tandem mouse, good. Um, another tandem mouse. And another. Should I get all tandem mouse? I have two in the deck, one in my hand. So one is prized. Um, and Zuru is priced as well. So we have a little bit of a handicap right now. So I'm gonna set up my tandem mouse already. Put a gift energy on this guy. And I'm just gonna end my trick. All right, so that's, that's my start. That's my start. Let's see what we get here. 
What is that? Candice. Uh, you may reveal any number of water or water energy cards. Wow. Okay. I, I wish our setup was as good as that, right? Aqua Burst deals 40 times the water energies attached to Kingdra. Very nice. Origin form Palkia. Okay, our Squovit survives an attack, which is good. Irida is really good. Uh, let's evolve this. Let's use Mesagoza. Come on. Please, Mesagoza. Nice. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Bibarel is going to be our first priority here to help us draw extra cards. Very nice. Um, let's put a water energy to ensure that we can attack this turn. Use switch. And then I can put Defiance Band on this Tandem Mouse. Use Irida to get Pukumuku and a level ball. All right, so now we have at least two mouse holds available to us. And what you really need is only three, if, if at all possible. So if you can get three here, that would be awesome. Use Pyukumuku to draw one extra card. Double turbo energy. I'm gonna use Squovit to shuffle that to the bottom, draw one extra card. Ultra Ball is good. The Barrel to draw four. Dude, that is pretty awesome. Um, since Mousehold is the one that's surprised, I, the Hisuian Heavy Ball is not going to help us much. So I think I'm just going to sacrifice these two. That way we can get our third Mousehold. Evolve this. And now we can deal a Knockout Blow against their Kingdra. I feel like I should reserve this Water Energy instead of using Radiant Greninja. Um, I could use its ability though. Uh, I think I'll just do it. I'll just go for that extra energy. All right. Um, family attack for 210 damage. Not too bad. Very nice. So we got one prize. Our first prize of the day. Well, for this match. Tandem Mouse. There it is. Oh no. Tandem Mouse was prized. I thought it was a mouse hold. But okay. That's that's good. I mean, we have three mouse holds already set up, so we should be okay. We have another tandem mouse to kind of help us out, uh, but that will reduce our mouse hold line to two at the end of this turn. Because uh, if they end up knocking out our active, that will reduce our mouse hold to two. Okay, they're using Irida. So this is this is an okay start for us. We got our first prize, but um, it pretty much goes downhill from there, from here. I think uh, if if everything doesn't go well, it's gonna go downhill from here. Especially um, we're gonna go down to two mouse holds. We, we're hitting only for one hundred and forty damage, uh, which is okay. I can we, we can still two hit knock out their their. Um, Origin form Palkia V Star, but uh, keeping up with the mouse hold line at all times is going to be difficult. So we might need Thornton to help us out here. But Squovit already has 40 damage on it, so even if we evolve it into or switch it out with Tandem Mouse, if we discard one, it's just going to get knocked out because 40 damage will knock out our tandem mouse so my opponent uses mezagoza and they get heads so now they can get another pokemon from their deck to set up on their bench yeah mezagoza is it is it's hit and miss sometimes it's useful sometimes you just get tails all the time and it just doesn't help you out so yeah this my, my build is pretty uh, RNG based, but they're just gonna pass. Okay. Um, yeah, even if they use their ability, they only get one energy. So 
All right. Okay, that's that's good for me. Uh, we got a gift energy. I can put it here. And then... Is there anything we can recover with Roseanne's backup? No. Um... I could set up the tandem mouse and use. I could still do two hit knockout against this uh, origin form Palkia. I'll just use Nestash for now. As long as I have my three house uh, mouse hold line, I feel pretty pretty confident here. Um, use B barrel. Rescue Carrier, okay. Double Turbo Energies. Uh, I think I'm going to use Irida. Get up Yukumuku. Let's see what's available to us. Uh, man, if I... I wish I had my Zoroark line set up. But I'll need Thorn, I think, in the long run as well. That way I can increase my damage and maybe knock out their Palkia V-Star. But even then, we don't eat... We don't actually need if we can get a boss order to can probably knock out their luminian v um so for now uh, i think i'm gonna go for the level ball I think i'm gonna go for the level ball uh maybe we can thin out our hand or our deck even further with mesagoza if we flip heads here we did not. Okay. Just use this then to get Tandem Mouse. And I'm just going to hold off. I'm not going to use Radiant Greninja to draw extra cards. And we can hit for 210 damage. That's actually pretty, uh, pretty significant. 210 damage is really good. So even with just two mouse holds in play, once they knock out our active, we can knock out... This origin form Palkia. But what I'm worried about is Radiant Greninja because uh, they can actually knock out two of our mouse hold line and get two prizes uh, with that. So, okay. Um, yeah, that's really bad. <laughs> mouse hold, why you, got, why you gotta be so weak, man? Really strong attack, but just really low HP. I mean, it is a mice after all. So they also have this Articuno with the ice. Uh, what is that? Ice symbol ability. And that will increase the damage output of their basic Pokemon's attack by 10 more damage. 260 damage with Origin Form Palkia V-Star. And we got one extra card thanks to the Gift Energy. And we got a right hand. And yeah, we should be dealing enough damage to knock this out even with just two mouse hold lines available so i'm just gonna power this guy up uh put this tandem mouse here um i can use rescue carrier um to get these two back to the deck or to our hand and i can power up Radiant Greninja. Well, we're, that's actually not going to be useful because they have um, Mana Fee in the deck. So I guess that's all right. That's fine. Um, I can use Thornton. I can use Thornton. Use Pukumuku to draw one extra card. Roseanne's backup is pretty good too. And Okay, let's just get a knockout here. 120 damage against their origin form Palkia V-Star. Very good. So that's two prizes for us. We just need three more to win us the game. Got another mouse hold. So now we can complete all four if we really need to. But again, that Radiant Greninja is... Uh, a bit scary. <laughs> it's a bit scary. But we're going to try. We're going to try. Star Portal. Uh, they can use their ability to put 
three water energies to their Pokemon any way they like. They're putting some on Articuno for some reason. Two on their origin form Palkia V-Star. Um, if that was me, I would have put in a Radiant Greninja, but that's that's fine. That's fine with me. Masagoza. Nice. They got heads. Now they can get any Pokemon in their deck. I think they're just trying to evolve into Qua Qua La Qua. What is that? <laughs> It's such a hard name to pronounce. Quaquoval, I think, is what it is. Um, okay. All right. They are actually still behind in prizes. Um, I could just put this tandem in the active then. And then I can put this to evolve this guy. Uh, I can use double turbo energy put here tandem mouse there and like I said Squovit would be nice if I can uh, change it but I cannot I'm only dealing 120 damage unfortunately 120 damage 120 I mean, they still have four prizes to go. Uh, they could finish me off with Radiant Greninja. That's the that's the downside. Um, and I can't use Radiant Greninja anyway. So I think I'm just going to transform Radiant Greninja into Tandem Mouse. I can evolve this. So now at least I have 190 damage on my belt, which is pretty good. I think that's pretty significant. Um, Thornton. Okay. I think I'm going to use Ultra Ball to get rid of Irida and Bibarel. And I'll get, uh, Zoroark. And then I can use Bibarel. Draw two cards. Double, triple energy. Use Masagoza. Let's see what we get. Nothing. You useless card, man. Masagoza. 190. That's that's what we're gonna go for. We can knock it out in our next turn using the double turbo energy to power up our other attackers. And I think we should be fine. So again, the rule of thumb really with mouse hold, you can pretty much two-hit knock out a lot of Pokemon. As long as you have three mouse hold lines, 190 damage, even with a double turbo energy, is actually pretty good. So um, that can help you to to hit knock out pretty much any Pokemon in the game. But uh, if you're planning to deal a one hit knockout against uh, other Pokemon, it's really hard to pull off. So they're gonna knock out one of our mouse holds that leaves us with two. Uh, we need a recovery here. Um, How many mouse holds do we have? We have two. Let's see, how many rescue carriers? We only used one, so we should be able to have another one in the deck, right? So without having to expend my other energies, I think I'll just uh, put the tandem mouse in the active, put this double turbo energy to power this up and use path to the peak right path to the peak um i can use pal pad to recover thornton and raihan use quovit to nestash ultra ball be barrel Industrious incisors. Nice. Dude, that is actually pretty good. I will use Rescue Carrier to get these two. Very nice. Put this tandem mouse ready. 
uh, evolve that. I can use this to power up this mouse hold. So I can deal a maximum amount of damage. And... Right? And I feel like Thornton is going to be helpful here. So what I'm going to do actually, in preparation for my next turn, if I can get a Zerua, uh, I can actually deal a maximum amount of damage in the next turn. If everything goes according to plan. So. 190 damage to knock out this origin form Palkia V-Star. Getting us two prizes. Come on, give me a Zerua, please. No! <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, and we have our Hisuian Heavy Ball right there. So, that was actually... Well, that's okay. We're keeping our three mousehold lines intact and we only need one more prize uh, i was hoping to actually showcase the 300 plus damage output but that's okay uh, we're gonna win this matchup i think uh we're pretty pretty good on our prize exchange here lake acuity uh they're dealing 110 damage with this articuno but i think we have this game in the bag uh my my opponent has an interesting build, but setup was just not good enough. All right, they're going to end their turn, and that's going to be game. Yep, we're just going to finish off this Articuno to get our last prize for the win. All right, very nice. There's the Zerua. Good game. And that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please don't forget to smash the like button for me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching the Popsicle Night channel, and as always, stay safe and have a great day.